Hi, my name is Pini Vaknine. This is the submission for my final project for artificial intelligence with Dr. Fernandez. Uh, for the final project, I decided to do a genetic algorithm to solve the knapsack problem. So I'm going to demo it right now. I based this off uh, a code that I uh, started working on before for a genetic algorithm. Uh, over here in the problem setup, you set up uh, the population, which over here I put for a thousand, but that, you can change that. Uh, the maximum number of runs, it evolves more with every run. Everyone can be an n, amount, an n number of generation, which you set within the program. Um, basically, the knapsack problem is you have a knapsack that can only hold uh, a certain amount of weight, and you want to get as many items as you can into the knapsack um, with the highest, uh, with achieving the highest uh, value. So every item here has a value and a weight. There's a hundred uh, uh, items, I believe. I think I put a hundred items. Uh, each item has a value between zero and a hundred, and a weight between. Uh, I believe I put it between zero and fifty. I'm not sure, or zero and twenty. I'm not sure. But all this could be randomized, just to show you that it works. So let's just jump right into it. Here it is. Over here, up top on the left side, you set the number of generations. So I'm just going to put it to 10 so it doesn't take too long. Um, over here, it's going to show you the current fitness score. It's going to show you the work done. That's how many calls to the fitness function. Here's the runs, how many runs we had so far. We're putting it, we set it over here to 10 runs. So we're going to, it's going to count up to 10. Uh, now, here it's going to show you, this is actually your knapsack. Um, over here, it's going to show you for every run which items, uh, the item number that you have, the weight of that item, and the value of that item. Uh, this is going to be your knapsack. It changes every uh, every uh, every run. It changes. Unless it's stabilized, and then it's pretty much the best result you're going to get at that number of generations. Uh, here shows you the number of items. Here's the total weight you have, and here's the total value. So I put it at the knapsack and hold only 100 pounds, uh, a weight of 100. So basically, just gonna run a genetic algorithm and find uh, find the maximum number of items that could get in with the highest value. Uh, yeah, and here it's gonna show you all the past fitness scores. So the fitness score basically here is the price, is the value, the total value of the knapsack. So uh, let's just start it and you'll, you'll get you get a better idea. So here's one run of ten generations. We got one thousand two hundred fourteen. Next run, we got 28 items, 1688. 27 items, 1775. You see it's evolving, so it's improving. Here are your item list. Here's the item list, and you can see the total weight. It never goes to 100 because the weights are randomized. There are doubles and they're randomized, and the price is also randomized. We're on the last run now, and we got 2785.22. So we started with 1,214 and nine cents. And we got it up to, after 10 runs of 10 generations, we got it up to 2,785 at that same amount of weight. And here it shows you an order list by order by item number of the weights, of the item number, the weight, and the, the value of it. So for example, this item 27 weighs 0.54. I guess the units could be pounds. And the value of that item is $29. And then, you know, as you go on, you see there are different weights. Uh, judging by this, I guess the weights um, go between 0 and 10, I put them, because I don't see anything hitting higher than that. Or maybe there are, and just got filtered out. But there are 1,000 items. 1,000 items, I'm sorry, I said 100 earlier. It's 1,000 items I put over here. So, as you can see, it's still evolving even till the end. So let's give it 20 runs and see if we get a better result. I already did all this. I'm just doing it now uh, to show it in real life time. Let's do it again on 10 generations because 100 takes a little too long. So again, we start with 13, 20, and 22 items. And there's an improvement at every uh, step of the way here. We're at 2,034 items, 2,235 items. 2200. Well, it looks like we're stabilizing here. 
Yeah, well, sometimes as the genetic algorithms work, uh, you 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 know you have to restart it because you just hit a a plateau, and we we have that right now. We plateaued at twenty two forty four and fifty eight cents, so it's not getting any better than that, and I don't think it will. But then last run we got better than this and less uh, less runs. Okay, well that's it. Again, the work done is over here. We had twenty runs, thirty six item total. 2,244 and 58 cents, and the weight is 99.96, so we did not pass the 100. It will never pass the 100 because it, it gets rejected if it passes the 100. Uh, yeah, I had fun working on this. It was a lot of work uh, in the background to get this genetic algorithm to work. Uh, between the fitness function and uh, you know the limits that I have over here of weight, that again can be adjusted. Um, I had a lot of fun on this assignment, and I hope you liked it. Uh, we'll do one more run of let's do five generation five runs and we'll do it of a hundred generations. So it's gonna take a little bit more time. But the results should be significantly better from my experience with this program. Wow, yeah. First generation, we got 2,551 and 35 cents. This is more than we got, I think, up until now. So that's a very good result. And if it improves, it's going to be very good. This is really a test right now to see if it improves. That looks like it's stable at that. No matter. It's running, every run is running 100 uh, runs, 100 generations per, per run. So um, I guess it's probably going to stabilize at that. Maybe that is the best result you can get out of these 1,000 items. It could be. That could be the best result. Could be the highest fitness. Yeah, I think so. I think we actually went down. I don't know, we went up a little bit. Yeah, it won't go down because it's evolving, so. We went a little bit up, but it's not really significant. But these, so far, this is the best result we have on our third run. Uh, by the fifth, we'll see how good it can get. And you can follow here if this was real and you were really, you really had a knapsack issue. You could follow here and take the items by one by one, their value and weight. See, nothing changed on that one. You could see the list remained the same. Yeah, the values are, the weights are from 0 to 10, and the values are from 0 to 100. Oh, we got a better score. That's a little bit better. That's 2589.04. And that was the last run. So the last run showed us that we have over here with uh, 100 generations, we're at 2589.04 out of this random list of items. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I enjoy working on it. Thank you.